Well, when starting with WinUI 3, we want to know which are which controls are new. So when we go here to Microsoft GitHub I/O uh, and here try out the WinUI 3, we will see there is a download, and from the download, where have I seen? There is a toolkit somewhere. Yeah, there is uh, the preview branch WinUI 3. You may download that, and when you download it. There, here's the download, and you get the uh, code. Is here the code and the zip file? Download it, and then drop it somewhere into your system. So I dropped it here into my folder, and from the folder you may start the uh, XAML controls gallery. And there you have this. Um, XAML control gallery SLN or desktop SLN. I started this one. Now when I go there, and you have to install the preview, uh, Visual Studio preview. Where is it now? You can see it. Started it with the wrong one. I started it with the wrong application, not with double click. You may start it here uh, with this one or here. Uh, open it, controls gallery. I started it this way. Open it with Visual Studio 2019 preview or with a blend for Visual Studio, but there's uh, one is the new one. But I don't, it's not shown in here. Now we come to this uh, setup. And there, all what you have to do, you have to push the start button, debug button. I see the app is starting. And that's great now. Uh, what we have there is this. All those are the new WinUI 3 preview samples. That's what's new. We have a web view. This is important, very important. If you have, uh, if you're doing some um, Chromium engine stuff, if you want to browse a HTML site. So, but I not I'm not running this at the moment. You have this uh, app bar button, combo box, combo box, for example, here, these ones. You may always take those stuff. And you see the menu on the left side, that's navigation view. You have a totally, completely new navigation view. That's available, menu on the top. And this one reacts then. Then we have a basic basic inputs drop down like this. You may always uh, take something from there, and the code is always li uh, like this on the on the side. Toggle button, switch on off, disable. Checkbox, toggle switch, like on the smartphones. Oh, this is all great stuff. Motion, page transition. Suppress. Default. And then you have collections. Um, data grid. Now there's a bigger sample. Yeah, there it is. See, this is uh, shown in there, so it's uh, not a real one, but it's uh, good stuff. Here, this is a flip view. Also quite interesting. Always go back. List view. This view with, with group headers. Uh, now there are no data shown. 
List View API. There's the API. I'm not sure if all API, uh, all that stuff works. But there's a, a lot more stuff. And when you write a new app, you may use all those uh, functions in your or controls in your own um, application. So I love it. Auto suggestion help. Yeah, great. Uh, layout, media, image, media, image. That's always important. A lot of that stuff is also in WinUI 2, but now the functionality behind there is uh, different. So the new way is that we have uh, WinUI 3 on the top and this serves uh, with a basically it serves with the API and you may connect it from uh, every application and so the controls are in WinUI always uh, are always the same you have a functional f uh, connection where you say okay uh, do something and then the API uh, the control does its stuff